but I heard the trial wasn't all that great. I heard it was a disaster. I heard it was one of the worst workouts ever. Colin Kaepernick's agent is upset with Warren Sapp after Warren Sapp claimed that Colin Kaepernick's workout with the Raiders was a disaster. The Raiders hosted Colin Kaepernick to work out at QB on May 25th. Mark Davis liked the idea of hosting Colin Kaepernick and even promoted the idea on TV prior to the workout. If our coaches and general managers want to bring him in or want him to be the quarterback on this team, I would welcome him with open arms. It seemed like Davis is likely trying to get in good graces with a certain power click in the NFL. The New York Times have published nasty hit pieces against Mark Davis, claiming that there's turmoil in Las Vegas because Mark Davis allegedly forgot to pay a PG&E bill. They also allege that he's underpaid employees and engaged in workplace discrimination, but you could check out more about that on our channel. We have a video that we posted today. And this has come not even a year after the New York Times leaked emails of his head coach, John Gruden, which led to him being forced to resign. So Mark Davis likely use this Colin Kaepernick workout to help the Raiders public image. Never forget this workout was announced the day that John Gruden picked up a victory when a Nevada judge denied the NFL's motion to dismiss his lawsuit against the NFL and Roger Goodell. So maybe this Colin Kaepernick workout was never unjust. Maybe the Raiders never really considered Colin Kaepernick as a backup QB for the 2022 season. They signed Nick Mullins in free agency and then afterwards traded for Jarrett Stidham, so it seemed like the backup QB role was solidified prior to the Colin Kaepernick workout. Raiders head coach Josh McDaniels had very little to say about Colin Kaepernick's workout, while starting QB Derek Carr welcomed Colin Kaepernick. By just a, a, a standard procedure, we're not, we won't only talk about the people that are on our team. I mean, Dave and his staff have worked out tons of guys, you know, this spring. For us, I think it'd be great. I think, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to speak for everybody in that kind of sense like I don't want someone mad at me for saying like I think it'd be great uh, but I know him and I would get along great uh, I know we have in the past and I think we would again I, I, I think for the most part I think he'd get along just fine with our guys Colin Kaepernick's agent Jeff Nally claims that Dave Ziegler had a favorable view of Colin Kaepernick and even said this to pro football talk I guess Warren Sapp didn't talk to the GM meaning Dave Ziegler or the head coach I spoke to Ziegler several times and he said they all thought Kaepernick was in great shape and threw the ball really well and encouraged any team to call him about the workout and he would tell him the same. So even if Dave Ziegler said this to Colin Kaepernick's agent, that doesn't necessarily think that Dave Ziegler thinks that Kaepernick would be a good backup quarterback. If he thought he was a better backup quarterback than Jared Stidham or Nick Mullins, then the Raiders would have signed Colin Kaepernick, but they have not. And Ziegler said that if any team called him, he would tell him that Kaepernick moved around and threw the ball really well. Why would he tell him the opposite? You think somebody's going to call Ziegler and he's going to say, hey, uh, don't sign Kaepernick. He sucks. The bottom line is that if Colin Kaepernick was still a good quarterback, he would be on a team right now. And that just isn't the case. But it seems like this was only ever a PR move. Like Antonio Brown has said, Colin Kaepernick isn't interested in playing in the NFL. Oh, so he good? You think he good? Nah, I yeah, like, he good. But you know the nigga want to get back in the nah, league, Nah, he don't want to play, man. He was trash. Everything. Trash? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't know what trash. He was all right. Come on, A.B. Man, listen, Listen, man, like Kaepernick did all that and took the money and then got the commercials. We don't see Kaepernick outside. The bull trying to get back in, though. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, but he already took the money. All oh, that's cap. Like we have a video about this on our other channel, Wi-Fi Willie Antonio Brown on Colin Kaepernick, and we know that Antonio Brown isn't always the brightest light bulb, but he did have some interesting things to say. It almost felt like there was a mutual arrangement between Colin Kaepernick and Mark Davis. On the one side, Colin Kaepernick could make it seem like he's still interested and being in the NFL and not just doing documentaries and TV shows. And on the other side, Mark Davis could almost make himself seem like an activist while the NFL is putting out negative press against him and the John Gruden lawsuit looms in the media. It is unfortunate that this was just a big waste of time, but hopefully the Kaepernick to Raiders discussion is finally officially over. If you don't want to hear about Colin Kaepernick anymore, let me know in the comments below. And hey, make sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to the Raiders Rundown down for more Las Vegas Raiders content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out, and I hope you have a good one.